So Millwall in the cup, of course, uh, up against Simon's beloved Palace. Uh, Millwall got the noses in front, but ended up uh, losing the game. There was that moment, uh, Danny, that we saw uh, Michael Elise head over and uh, take a corner, and uh, a plastic bottle was thrown at him. I, I don't know, did it hit him? Just miss him? Just, just miss him? But. It begs a question. We've seen this at Leeds versus Burnley. Matt Lawton uh, hit in the face. <coughs> Excuse mm, me. We saw, saw the plastic bottles, a hail of them coming on when uh, Rodri got the winner for Manchester City at the Emirates against Arsenal. Now, one of the commentators said over the weekend at the time for the Millwall situation, what makes fans throw objects at players? That's really what it comes down to. Well, it's moronic. The Jewish players ever used to discuss this? What the hell goes through their minds? No, not really. Just kind of accept it, don't you? you? Get, I suppose, in society, you get all different types of levels of intellect, or lack of intellect, or um, no one, people not caring, re, no repercussions. They don't think there's going to be repercussions for such silly, moronic acts. And then, until you get your collar felt, and until you get punished for something, you carry on behaving like an imbecile, don't you? I mean, generally, you only learn your lessons in life when you get, you know, you, they happen to you. So. If, if whoever's done it gets punished, then he's probably not going to do it again. But next week, someone else will probably do it. That's just the way it is. Well, I mean, what we do know, Simon, I think Danny's put on, but what we do know is we're seeing more incidents of this than we have previously. They get themselves in, they've got plastic bottles of water, and then someone's going to cop for it if uh, a decision goes yeah. the wrong way. Um, someone at Millwall chucked it. It'll be on CCTV. Hopefully they get him, they pitch him out. Yeah, But I mean, this is going. This is too much now, isn't it? Well, of course it is. I, I wonder, and, you, and again, it's not. It's not a broadside against the media. I wonder if it is indeed we're seeing more of it, or if we're reporting more of it. And previously, we switched our eyes off it. So I wonder if that all of a sudden we report something, it gets some traction. So every time it occurs, we're now reporting it. Whereas previously, right. we did, we turned a blind eye to it. Look, there's no condoning of it. And they're, they're, the plastic bottles are PETs. If you want to stop it, stop selling plastic bottles outside football stadiums. And then ultimately, they've got nothing to throw, have they? They've got to bring something else in and they can't bring it in because they'll be searching their way in. Now, does that suggest that you've got, to, you've got to have a different attitude? Well, we know what Millwall can be like sometimes. And that's not condoning Millwall. But there is a history of um, behaviour at Millwall that resulted in my friend Theo introducing a membership scheme back in the mid-2000s to try and eliminate specifically elements of trouble after the, the um, Birmingham Millwall playoff semi-final in 2001. Yeah. Uh, or 2002, I think it was. Um, and you look at those things and you think, it's unacceptable. I, I do also, and again, I don't want to get into the territory of two wrongs making a right or so and so forth. I do also think that players do have to remember that it's probably better not to get involved with reacting to the fans. Not that it gives a justification for fans doing anything, but probably it doesn't help the situation. Fans shouldn't do it in the first place. But but in the fact that we do have a moronic element of society, you can't eliminate them, you can only marginalise them, but don't help them on their way to being even more moronic, more moronic than they started well, with I think by getting involved with them. It's a fair know, point. It's, it's a fair point. Lewis yeah, and West Ham fan, Danny, saying exactly that. Rodri, you know, it was just ridiculous. The Rodri one? Yeah. Well, let why, me, why don't well, players celebrate about, in front of their own fans? About, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to differentiate. I'm talking about Palace players. Okay, let's differentiate between... Well, at least he was sitting in a corner. Quite it was just at least say, it was also... Uh, when Palace scored the first goal to equalise, I think, the players ran over to the Millwall fans. The, well, let's different... One of our players kicked the corner flag at them to give it back to them. I understand why he's done it, but you're dealing with low-grade morons. You don't need to give them an excuse to come piling down the terraces and start throwing things in. Well, I'll, I'll hold my ground on what I said the other week on that. I won't bore people with saying the same. I, I disagree with the celebrating of a goal as long as you stay on the pitch and do the right things. But if you're talking about what, I, what you started with, which was reacting to supporters' behaviour, yeah. you have a responsibility not to do that as a player. And, and and logic should kick in anyway. So if you're having things thrown at I remember playing at Arsenal in a cup tie where I think it was Jamie Carragher got a coin thrown at him and he threw it back. You know, that could have hit somebody innocent in all that. And oh, actually, yeah. you've yeah. got... Although somebody throws a, co a coin or a bottle... Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got to let that be and let the authorities deal with it. You have to, you have to rise above that. That's your responsibility. You see, we're hearing this lunchtime that two Millwall <coughs> fans, two fans at the Millwall game, have been identified. So now it's well, down to the good. club. I mean, Simon, what happens now in that process? Well, the club. You've will, identified them. What happens? Well, the club will ban them. But I also think that the, the, the genesis of the issue started with um, Millwall fans booing the um, Palace players for taking the knee. 
And with this, we, we're not going to go back into that because we've already researched that, rehearsed this, and we have a, everyone has different views on it, whether that's right or wrong. And then you had during the game some taunting of Con- Conor Gallagher because there's this underlying allegation about certain players at Chelsea and their attitude and, and, and certain Chelsea dispositions. Yeah, I heard it's that. all silly, childish stuff. Yeah. But Palace players, when they scored, they ran over to the Millwall fans on the back of the booing and the booing of the taking of the knee and the and the, and the constant uh, diatribe of abuse against Conor Gallagher yeah. and they give it back to the fans. Well, yeah. if you're saying they ran to the Millwall fan, the corner, the corner I'm flag, pretty sure I'm right on that. The corner right flag is equidistant to the Palace fans and Millwall. The, the Palace fans were behind the goal, weren't they? Yeah. And the Millwall fans to the side. To the so. side. But they ran, they ran to the corner. Right. Well, and booed the flag when, at the fans. Whether they did or they didn't, and you're, so what you're saying is... He, Don't do it. I, if I, if I, I, honestly, I don't like the necessity of bowing down to mob rule. But then but we'll there's go no back. No, 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 there's no need for it. There's no need to run to where Millwall fans are. Boot a corner flag. I mean, you're making a point. You don't you need know to boot a corner flag. Granted, that's what he did. Granted, but you're allowed to celebrate scoring a goal in a hostile environment in an FA Cup game. It's football. Sure. It's not a war. Of course, sure. If yeah. you can't celebrate scoring a goal in front of support, it doesn't. As long as you don't start going into the crowd and gesticulating, kicking. Uh, yeah. If you kick the corner flag and it comes out, I agree, out Danny. Front. But I think we're going to be careful here. But you didn't because agree. we've seen what we, we've seen what happened in uh, France. Yes, Dimitri Payet taking the corner and and got one in the back of the head from uh, some of the Lyon uh, Lyon supporters. I think theirs has escalated to and a level we haven't seen. Here. They're taking supporters out now. They're not letting supporters in. It happens again at the weekend here. We've seen it. We we saw it with Matt Lawton getting hit in the face for bottle when Leeds played Burnley. Yeah, that was. We saw what happened with yeah. Rodri, and we saw and we saw what happened at the end of the weekend. It's it's there. There's evidence of it. Well, yeah, but like everything, we always say you can't prevent it. You have to just deal with it. Yeah, when it's it how, happens, it's how you respond to it. Yes. And we mustn't get into the territory of lambasting the game because we're talking about a very small minority of people that behave in an unacceptable... A lot of what goes on inside football stadiums, from the terminologies that are used in conjunction with people's jobs to the manner in which people sing at one another to the tribalistic nature of sport, it comes to some extent with the, with the territory. Mm. If we then start saying that we build up... Because once upon a time, we allowed in this country, and it appalled me, the Continentals to talk about the English disease, as if football hooliganism was only prevalent in this country. And we swallowed it and we took it and we took our European bands and we allowed people like Seth Blatter to stand up in UEFA conferences saying the problem is the English disease it wasn't the English disease it was a disease of hooliganism that was rife amongst a lot of football nations but for some reason or other we're great self-flagellators we like to take responsibility for other people's behaviour and are fronted by other things so whilst we need to eliminate all you can do is respond to it Mm. And if your response is strident and meaningful, then that is your job. But done. you're saying too, the players, and this is where you cross swords with Danny. Players have a responsibility on the pitch as well. I think it's advisable to celebrate in a fashion that's amongst the people that value, i.e., your own fans and your own players. If you get into the territory of human nature prevailing, because of course it does, it prevails. But you know the landscape of football fans, at certain football fans, at certain clubs. Yeah. If Palace go to Millwall, they know what they're walking to. When I walked to Palace every single time, I walked into the car park, I knew what I was going to get. I right? know. So I didn't go yeah. with my desire to antagonise it. No. 